Hey, y'all. I'm getting my hair washed. There's Sparkle. She's our family hey. stylist. Yes, she's in town, and um, I want we want her to come back, but praise God, she has to go where her husband come is. Back home. Come God. back home. <laughs> I'm gonna come visit. She just did mommy's hair. Oh, I'm cute. Look at those cute, feathers. Cute. Come through, feathers. Come through. I'm so tired looking like, oh, let me see what name. Uh oh. <laughs> Today, y'all, we using Sparkles product, and yes, Sparkle it smells so more. good. CBD shampoo. Yes. Mm. Can you tell us what it's gonna do? Sure. It does it's smell gonna good. come smelling my hair. All of the benefits of CBD. Girl, that's All a right. miracle worker. <laughs> You're a miracle worker. Yay, yes. We got to go through. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, CBD. Helps with um, inflammation, which can cause things like eczema, um, psoriasis, Ooh. any other type of uh, scalp problems that can hinder your hair growth. CBD helps with um, clarifying and detoxing your body and your hair. So that's why I wanted to have products with CBD in it. And after being a breast cancer survivor, I needed to have products that I knew would be healthy from the inside out. Oh yeah, and you grew your, did you use your product to grow your hair? Is that how you did? Oh, those sparkles. Yes, I did. Y'all see a key down here? We gotta show pictures. Can we show pictures of your progress? How long you been doing here? Um, about 20 years. 20 years? Yeah. You a G. Okay. It was long and rough, but I got it. And then you, you said it's good for the inside out, so you got uh -huh. like a vitamin too, right? Yes, I have some uh, hair vitamins, hair, skin, body um, vitamins. And the vitamins can also help with like stress. Okay. I wanted to get a a product that was natural to help you with um, your mind. Mm. Help you just relax. Healthy mind, healthy body, healthy hair. Love it. Okay, and then we got the oil to help with the scalp. And all of the products have um, CBD in them. So what's um what are some tips that you would give me? Cause you were just saying my I asked you if my ends need to be trimmed. Mm -hmm. What? How do you know when the ends need to be trimmed? Like it's a girl I know. Her hair is super long, and I asked her how how did you get your hair to grow like this? She said because she didn't trim her end. So see, is all of that damaged hair? I would have to see it, but I definitely wouldn't recommend that because the hair um it splits from the bottom and then it just goes all the way up to the strand up to the scalp for I me mean, you know and sometimes it'll snap off that's why people see a oh. whole bunch of those little pieces of hair on the floor and you have all these holes in your hair oh. you want your hair to look like a makeup brush okay. or like a paint brush where it's all solid you yeah. can't see through it Got you. So I've not been wanting to straighten my hair as much, but I still like to wear a good old press and curl. Good old school. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you um, recommend as far as how much heat you put to your hair per month? Um, different hair textures um, can hold different levels of heat. Okay. So it depends on you, but I feel like a trained eye can do it up. But since we are in the quarantine, I would just stick with a regimen of like maybe every two to three weeks. You can't go wrong with that, but it's got to be hot. Mm -hmm. So we might have to come up with some protective style. And you think that um, 
It, does that really help though? You know how we used to call them latch hook, but now we call them crochet. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the um, when it's kind of rubbing against your hair, because sometimes we're using synthetic hair, mm -hmm. is that taking off our hair? Mm -mm. Well, how um, come it ain't? Again, certain hair textures, like if it's fine, I wouldn't do that. Okay. You know, because of the weight and. Um, for example, like what you said, like rubbing up against the hair, certain mm -hmm. hair can't handle that. Okay. But then you might have someone who has thick, coarser hair, it's very durable, mm -hmm. you know, that can handle it. Okay. Do you notice the difference when somebody is not taking care of their hair versus it being like stress or something? Um, a lot of times I can tell. Okay. You know, because stress will cause it and it'll be more long strings. What you mean? The, that a shed. Oh, 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 oh. Long strands that a shed. And then if someone's not taking care of it, most of the time, it's just a whole bunch of different limbs from uh, it breaking from the bottom up. Okay. Everybody sheds hair. Like some people shed hair on a daily basis. Some, some people shed, you know, monthly. Okay. It's just natural. Your body is just getting rid of what it doesn't know. want. Uh huh. Gotcha. And that's fine. But if it's, you know, I would say larger than a quarter. Okay. If the ball or the amount is uh -uh. Large, Like you have some right here. I don't know if they can see. Let me see. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, but that's that's not anything to be alarmed about. Sure. Well, then, it was a lot more shedding before on my own and when I was um, doing Shamika's hair. Uh -huh. So, that's not... Well, you said it depends on the person. Yeah. As far as the shedding, I wouldn't want it to be a whole lot. So, I would say if it's, if it's before... I mean, if it's larger than a, a quarter, mm -hmm. quarter size in the palm of your hand... I would definitely be concerned. Okay. Well, y'all gonna see the transformation. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Where'd mama go? She went upstairs, huh? Oh, y'all, confession. So, I let my hair do the same thing I was teasing Shamika about. In the middle of my head, it felt like a Brillo pad. Bless my heart. Mm. <laughs> you gonna say, mm. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to seeing what the finished product will look like. I hope my hair grew. I was taking care of it, Sparkle. You saw what I have not been doing. Yes. This week, I didn't care. I kept putting on my wig. But I promise, I was using um, my yell. Mm -hmm. And I was combing it through. And I've been, I was taking care of it, I promise. Okay, we're going to see. We're going to see what it feel like now. It's coming to life. It's coming to life. I feel it. You can feel that I'm not telling a lie. I ain't got to this middle part, uh -oh. but we gotta find out. I hope it grew. That's the least it could do. <sighs> you have to love your hair for it to love you. Uh oh, that's a good quote. Love your hair for it to love you. Y'all, mommy got her a computer and she is doing so well. I'm so proud of you, mommy. Oh, my computer. Huh? What have you been doing on your computer? I have been, oh, I've been reading, I've been writing, I've been kind of learning on my own because you ain't had no time for me to uh -oh. help me out with it. <laughs> That's good. Self-talk is always good. Tiff been helping you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tiff, she did a little class with me the other day. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, she's um, been so helpful. Do you think that you've learned more since you've been in the uh, quarantine, since a lot of your work is digital now? Yes. Ooh, I really have. I mean, even, um, you know, like, I've been doing a lot of studying. Oh. You know, just studying on different things. And, you know, even with, when I go back to church, I have a few sermons I can write. All right. Quarantine. What's one of your your favorite sermons from the quarantine? Sermons, I mean. Well, you know, I was thinking about the uh, word quarantine. Mm -hmm. And it said something like it's um, a place of isolation. Mm -hmm. And then I went over there to Paul when he was 
isolated in the jail cell. Yes. And it says that the script, you know, the um, the, the, the definition of quarantine means you you're isolated from being in the places of where perhaps disease, Ooh. you know, could have you could have been, you know, um, infected or affected. Yes, affected. yes, ma'am. So, uh, and I just thought about it. I said, can you imagine that all of us have been around something? Right. That could have affected us without us even knowing it. Yeah. You know, so it's it's like even today, you know, we even if this virus wasn't here. Yes, ma'am. You know, and now it's like you go into quarantine. You go to that scripture that says, "When thou prayest, go into that secret closet." Yes. You quarantine in then. I know that's right. And you go in that secret closet and pray. Yeah, because you can go in there, and sometimes you gotta get away from, you know, society uh, and 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 things that could perhaps destroy your mind or infect your mind. They yeah, could infect you physically and She's spiritually. Like, I, I mean, just already. so yeah, I so I'm just, just right like, now. You, in a, better preach, you know, oh, this girl. is my quarantine place. You so, better preach, mommy, and naturally so. Amen. So I'll give you the rest. We'll give you the conclusion later. <laughs> <laughs> the what? The conclusion later. <laughs> one more time, one more time. The conclusion. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And you see her church, y'all see her church hat over there. That now what is oh, that a convocation? See that. Kiki. <laughs> okay, look y'all. This my hair. Sparkle said that's too much. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Is it broke? A little bit. <laughs> a lot or a little bit? Right here. Oh, you think my hair broke off? Just a little bit. Oh my God. Yep. So the confession is, it was a little bit. That's my heart. I wish not. Mm. I'm trying to get it. Y'all, my mommy's hair is long. It is real long. Oh my goodness. Me and J. Drew are so like, what? And her hair texture changed. My hair broke. Lord help. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed.